We're doing it. Let's, let's do the quiz. All right. House unknown. Discover your Hogwarts house. Get sorted now. Take part in the augmented reality. No. Get sorted. Uh, choose one to continue. Moon or stars? Why does this... What? Okay, moon. You entered Enchanted Garden. What would you most be curious to examine first? The fat red toadstools that appear to be talking to each other. The bubbling pool in the depths of which something luminous is swirling. The silver leaf tree bearing golden apples. The statue of an old wizard with a strangely twinkling eye. Twinkling statue? Silver leaf tree with golden apples. Luminous pool or fat mushrooms that talk? I don't know, man. Uh, it's either the talking mushrooms or the pool. Like, the pool is probably what I would select, but talking mushrooms is interesting. I might want to have a conversation with them. I'm going to do the pool. If you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? Cats, toads, or owls? Where are the dogs? I, 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 owls are cool. If you're returning Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? Barn Owl, Tawny Owl, Snowy Owl, Screech Owl, Brown Owl. Brown, Screech, Snow, Tawny, Barn. How would you like to be known to history? The Great, The Wise, The Bold, The Good. The wise, dude, easily. One of your housemates has cheated in a Hogwarts exam <gasps> by using a self-spelling quill. Now he has come to top of the class in charms, beating you in second place. Professor Flitwick is suspicious of what happened. He draws you to one side after his lesson and asks you whether or not your classmates used a forbidden quill. What do you do? Tell Professor Flitwick the truth. If your classmate is prepared to win by cheating, he deserves to be found out. Also, as you are both in the same house, any points he loses will be regained by you for coming first in his place. You would not wait to be asked to tell the truth. If you knew that somebody was using a forbidden quill, you would tell the teacher before the exam started. Lie and say you don't know, but hope that somebody else tells Professor Flitwick the truth. Tell Professor Flitwick that he ought to ask your classmate and resolve to tell your classmate that if he doesn't tell the truth, you will. I would tell the truth when asked. Uh, yeah, the first one. If he's prepared to win by cheating, he's prepared to lose by getting caught. Which of the following would you most like to study? Mer people, centaurs, werewolves, vampires, goblins, trolls, or ghosts? Definitely not trolls or go goblins are lame. Werewolves, centaurs, or mer people? Werewolves. Which would you rather be? Liked, trusted, feared, envied, imitated, or praised? Praised, imitated, envied, feared, trusted, or liked? Trusted. Heads or tails? Heads or tails? What? Heads or tails? Heads. The, whole, the sorting hat is art? Wait, already? Alre it knows already? Dude, if this is Hufflepuff or Gryffindor, I'm gonna re. I'm gonna morb, dude. It knows, dude. It knows. Told you. I'm a Ravenclaw. You probably know that some of the Ravenclaw's most renowned members include Gilderoy Lockhart and Luna Lovegood, but did you know that Ravenclaw's Grey Lady is the least talkative Hogwarts house ghost? Or that Ravenclaw's common room boasts the most stunning views of the castle grounds? The Sorting Hat has spoken. You've no you're not alone. 78,000 fellow... Oh, today! I wonder if these numbers went up because of, uh, whatever. Uh, yeah, screw these guys. I don't care. Congratulations. I'm... 
Prefect Robert Hilliard, and I'm delighted to welcome you to the Ravenclaw House. Or yet, in Wise Old Ravenclaw, if you've a ready mind where those of wit and learning will always find their kind. See, it's because I'm smart. All right, let's find out my uh, Patronus. I didn't narc on the cheater. If I'm asked, I'm going to tell the truth. Uh, lag? Slideshow? Patronus is a kind of positive force, projecting the very things that the Dementor feeds upon. Hope, happiness, and the desire to survive. Bro, I'm being lagged. I'm being, like, why is the website... Discover your Patronus. Why is this so laggy? Stop. Can it not be full screen? It's a little better when it's smaller. We need to close WoW for just a second. That didn't help. It's just, it's just, it's just a laggy fence. Maybe it's, it's a, it's, if you're a muggle and you view it, it's like this. Okay, whatever. Laggy pants. You all can only discover your Patronus once the questions are timed. Go with your instincts. All right. Slideshow time. Relax. Think of your hat. This is so laggy, bro. Think of your happiest memory. Thorn leaf blade. Uh, uh, leaf. Oh God. <laughs> Make improve. It's like 50 50 for me, man. What? Don't think, don't think, don't think. Just pick, bone, blood, bone. Think, sense, feel, think. What was that? Is that a moose? Together alone. Together. Your Patronus is trying to form. Don't give up. <laughs> Black, gray, white. Gray. Obviously. Click and drag and release for your Patronus. It's a husky. It's a puppers. I got a puppers. Look at the puppers. Not you. I wasn't talking about you. Different puppers. Magical puppers. Magical puppers. Uh, okay, and then I need to get a wand. And then I'll use I'll use the results in uh, whatever. Patronus unknown. A husky. It was centered back towards her hairy across the still surface of the water. It wasn't a horse. It wasn't a unicorn either. It was a stag. It was shining brightly as the moon above. What does your Patronus say about you? Uh, I don't know. The most popular Patronus belonging to Wizarding World Friends. What are the rarest? The, the five favorites from the top ten. Dolphin, Paint, Tonkinese Cat, Fox, St. Bernard, Hedgehog. Oh, St. Bernard. Rare ones are unicorn, snowy owl, stag, wood mouse, and albatross. 
the top 20. Dolphin, cat, 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 fox, dog, weasel, Siberian cat. Dude, I'm not even in the top 20. I'm so unique. Nice. I'm special. Uh, Husky Ravenclaw wand. Find your wand. Uh, first of all, would you describe yourself as average height, tall, or short? And your eyes. Hello? Was the, was the day on which you were born an even number or an odd number? An even number. Do you, most, do you most pride yourself on your determination, imagination, resilience, intelligence, kindness, optimism, originality? Resilience. Traveling alone down a deserted road, you reach a crossroads. You continue right towards the castle, left towards the sea, ahead towards the forest. Into the frickin' forest. Let's go. Do you most fear fire, darkness, isolation, heights, or small spaces? Uh, small spaces. F that. In a chest of magical artifacts, which would you choose? A silver dagger, an ornate mirror, a glittering jewel, a bound scroll, a golden key, a dusty bottle, or a black glove? Ew, dusty bottle. Diseases. Golden key might open something cool. Silver dagger might have special powers. Ornate mirror, that only bad things can come from that. I've seen a lot of magic mirrors. They suck. Glittering jewel, bound scroll. Uh, either, either the key or the scroll. The scroll could have, like... Either something dumb on it, or maybe it's like a, a forbidden spell inside that I could learn. Uh, maybe the key is just like, I'm going to take the scroll. Wisdom. That's what I'm going to do. You would with a phoenix core, 14 and a half inches and rigid, hard and long. You wands are among the rarer kinds. And their ideal matches are likewise unusual and occasionally notorious. The, the wand of you is reputed to endow its possessor with the power of life and death, which might, of course, be said of all wands. And yet, you retains a particularly dark and fearsome reputation in the spheres of du dueling and all curses. However, it is untrue to say, as those unlearned in wand lore often do, that those who use you wands are more likely to be attracted to the dark arts. The witch or wizard best suited to a yu wand might equally prove a fierce protector of others. Wands hoon, hewn from those most long-lived trees have been found in the possession of heroes quite as often as of villains. Where wizards have been buried with wands of yu, the wand generally spouts into a tree guarding the dead owner's grave. What is certain in my experience is that the yu wand will never choose either a mediocre or a timid owner. Heck yeah. This is the rarest core type. Phoenix feathers are capable of the greatest range of magic, though they may take longer than either unicorn or dragon cores to reveal this. They show the most initiative, sometimes acting of their own accord, a quality that many witches and wizards dislike. Phoenix weather, feather wands are always the pickiest when it comes to potential owners, but the creature from which they are taken is one of the most independent and detached in the world. These wands are the hardest to tame and to personalize, and their allegiance is usually hard won. Yeah. The following notes on wand length, the flexibility are taken from notes on the subject by Mr. Garrick Ollivander, wand maker. Most wands will only range between 9 and 14 inches. While I have sold extremely short wands, 8 inches and under, and very long ones over 15 inches, these are exceptionally rare. In the latter case, a physical peculiarity demanded the physical, the excessive wand length. However, demanded the excessive wand length. However, abnormally short wands usually select those in whose character something is lacking rather than the, than because they are physically undersized. My character is, is super huge and massive. Rigid. The following notes, yeah, wand flexibility or rigidity denotes the degree of adapt adaptability and willingness to change possessed by the wand and owner pair. Although, again, this factor ought not to be considered separately from the, the wand core, wood, and length, nor the owner's life experience and style of magic. Dude, I'm a G, okay? I'm a G. I'm, I'm hard as a rock. I'm bricked up. I'm super long, unique as heck, you know? Three or four complete. Wait, create your profile? Bro, no. No. We did it. Okay, so now I can import this. 
into uh, whatever, and then, uh, you know, and then I, I win. Hi, baby. All right. There you go.